13. Strangest things found in Sweden. Yeah. Number 13. Ladonia. Sweden is a large country in northern Europe with untouched forests, beautiful women, and a language with words that are hard to pronounce. The bizarre towers that are constructed here are actually art installations on the rocky beach. The artwork is made of 70 tons of driftwood and nails and appears to look like it took a lot of time to put together. Ladonia went unnoticed for two years, but eventually, Swedish authorities noticed the structures and were planning on destroying it. Since the art installation was somewhat illegal to build, there needed to be some technicality to keep it from being demolished. In 1996, the small area only surrounding the artwork was declared its own micronation after a long court battle. The micronation even has their own queen that you see here. Number 12. The Stockholm Bull This crazy statue is located in the capital city of Stockholm, Sweden. This probably isn't the weirdest statue in the country, but it's one that's been popular in recent years with tourists. It seems to just be floating around in mid-air, but it's actually dangling from a building connected with wires. It's not known exactly where it is or why they decided to build it, so if any of our Swedish subscribers out there know about this, let us know in the comment section. Number 11. The Uter Inn there might be some limited accommodations at this strange hotel in Sweden, located northwest of Stockholm on Lake Malaren. There is only one room available and it's completely surrounded by water. This was dreamt up by the Swedish artist Michael Jönberg as a place to observe marine life and enjoy the isolation. It certainly seems like a rough place to stay during a long cold winter in Scandinavia. The small red house has room for one bed and one toilet under the water. Guests are picked up on an inflatable boat, and once they're there, unless you feel like swimming, there's no way to escape. Number 10. Troja Bori Labyrinth This is located on the little island of the eastern coast of Sweden called Gotland. That makes up less than 1% of Sweden's total land area, but has quite a few mysterious places. It's also nicknamed the Island of Roses for its ideal climate, capable of growing roses. Many of these stone labyrinths were built during the 1800s, but this one is considered to be possibly older. There isn't too much known about this landmark, in English at least, but there seems to be quite a few stone mazes found on the island of Gotland. Number 9. Kolarbeen Eco Lodges If you're looking for a crazy place to stay and felt like living inside a tree trunk for a few nights, this strange place might be the right place for you to visit. Each lodge here is completely built out of all natural materials. You won't have any amenities such as running water or electricity. Fresh water is found from a nearby spring and it's totally possible to survive off the environment here. The staff will not make you hunt your own food and provide you with an all-organic breakfast. This resort also stated that it preserves a 400-year-old Swedish tradition of extracting iron from charcoal. The outdoor activities will certainly allow you to enjoy the beautiful Swedish nature. Number 8. Bet's Nest Car Grave Sweden might be known for some quality automobiles such as Saab and Volvo, but these ones here don't seem to be like what they used to be. Here you'll find over 1,000 classic rusting vehicles from the 1950s. Many vehicles have been abandoned by troops during World War II, found in the graveyard to break down the rusting junk and sell the valuable parts. This is located in the county of Besnes and are being engulfed by the forest. Many cars are covered in moss, and strict rules apply to anyone considering taking a piece with them. It's estimated that all the scraps could be worth about $100,000 just in metal alone, but efforts have not been made to clean up the mess. Number 7. UFO Memorial Sweden can be a pretty mysterious place at times with all the green forest and isolated places. It seems like the right place to find a UFO. Near the city of Engelholm, a memorial was erected by a Swedish hockey player by the name of Gusta Karlsson in 1946. He claims that if it weren't for the alien contact, his successful pharmaceutical company wouldn't be such a big hit. Of course, not everyone believes his claims and are convinced he's making it up. Number 6. Sun Cannon In the city of Odvidabari in southeastern Sweden, it's known for its great fishing and its soccer team. Also, its explosive timekeeping methods. This cannon doesn't fire any real ammunition, but each day at 1 p.m., the sun hits a magnifying glass. As you can tell from this photo of the sun cannon, it creates a spark and sets off the black powder inside. These cannon clocks were actually a popular method of keeping track of time for the wealthy citizens during the 1800s, especially on large estates. And don't worry, it doesn't always appear that it needs to be set off by sun power. On rainy or cloudy days, this cannon will be manually ignited so tourists can enjoy it no matter what the weather is like. Number 5. Lulia Facebook Server So where does Mark Zuckerberg store all the photos you post on Facebook and all the information he gathers about the pages you like and so on? The servers on America's west coast were getting a little bit too full. So in 2013, he decided to build another server, this time in an isolated area in northern Sweden near the Arctic Circle. 
Mark Zuckerberg claims that the cold air here in this region will keep the servers from overheating. This massive facility takes up the space of about six football fields. Hydroelectric dams generate the massive amount of electricity needed at this place. A facility like this costs $760 million and probably has a massive electric bill. Sharing those cat photos with your friends on the internet is actually a little bit more complicated than you might have thought. Number 4. WikiLeaks Server Room This room might seem like the perfect place for a James Bond villain to hide out at, but it's actually the server room of WikiLeaks. That's right, Facebook isn't the only online company with server facilities in Sweden. WikiLeaks does too, and this one seems even more secretive. All the WikiLeaks files are being held at this former Cold War nuclear bunker that looks like it's been decorated by IKEA. Here in this photo, you see the submarine engine power generators that are used in case of a power outage or other emergencies, and are one of the best countries in Europe when it comes to this human right. Number 3. The Rock Rune Stone One of the most well-known rune stones in the world, the Rock Rune Stone was partially deciphered during the 19th century when it was found being used as some kind of building material by a church. It remains one of Sweden's most mysterious objects. Today, this is found standing in the sparsely populated province of Östergötland. It's believed to have been made in the 9th century AD. The stone was eventually moved from its original location and sits on display outside a churchyard. Some believe that the inscription was made intentionally difficult to read because it could be a part of a magical ritual. There are many speculations on the mysterious story about a father losing his son during the war that's inscribed on the stone, but many archaeologists are willing to agree that it's an important lost piece of Norse mythology. Number 2. The Swedish Solar System The largest model of the solar system in the world is located in Stockholm, Sweden. The sun is represented by the large globe arena, which is one of the biggest spherical buildings in the world, and the other planets are located throughout Stockholm. Some are even found in the suburbs. All planets are properly scaled. It seems like a fun thing to explore when visiting Stockholm and trying to find each planet. For example, in this photo we see Earth, and it's located in the Swedish Museum of Natural History. In this photo we see Neptune, which is located in the coastal town of Söderjam. Mars is found inside a shopping center, and if you try to find each one, you'll end up getting a decent tour of Stockholm and the surrounding area. At number 1, Lutfisk. Possibly the strangest thing you might come across while in Sweden aren't all the crazy places or weird hotels, it's their food. Lutfisk basically means live fish, and many describe it as the most disgusting food in the world, that is, if you're not Swedish. This traditional Nordic dish takes cod and soaks it in lye for several days, which is used to make soap, cleaning, and killing plants. The end result is something that has a jelly-like consistency. Any suggestions on future videos? Leave us your idea in the comments section, and maybe we'll feature it in an upcoming video.